James Gerbecker here with Crescent Kayaks. Today we're going to do a walkthrough video of the Splashback. If you're familiar with Crescent, you'll see a lot of the origins of this boat came from the original Splash One. We've gone through it, retooled it, and made improvements based off uh, consumer demand. So first off, we upgraded the handle. We're doing partnered with Blue Water Ropes. We did a climbing grade rope, so a lot of times that will fail in, in rental applications or just over the lifetime, so we upgraded this cord. Um, as you can see, we, you know, we, we spared no expense on the tooling of this thing. We, we went to a hand polished mirror finish. So you can see throughout this boat, it's gonna, it's gonna be made of the highest quality material we could find, and it's also gonna have uh, the best finish that we could achieve. Um, this boat is very clean and simple, but just because it's clean and simple does not mean that it's going to be cheap. We use the best materials that we could find. Throughout the boat, uh, again, you'll see um, upgraded handles. Uh, on the splash, we did not have these. We decided to do injection molded handles on the side so that people could car top it, easily carry it around. Uh, simple stuff like a paddle part, you can do, uh, so you can strap down your paddle. Front bungee system, if you wanna strap down a jacket, maybe tuck your paddle underneath the front of it. The whole idea of this boat is to integrate features, keep the price down, and, and also eliminate parts that might fail over time. So we did uh, molded in foot crest. Uh, so again, that, that's not gonna fail. Um, again, rental application, really great. Um, a, a big feature and feedback that we got from the splash and what I think a lot of people, when you, when you eliminate a frame seat, is the, the comfort and, and the support that sit on tops give. So what we did based off that feedback is we integrated a high back seat and that's where the splashback name comes from. So this molded in seat adds a lot of back support. Uh, yet to be added onto this that's about to come out is a injection foam pad that we are going to, again, we just thought let's step this boat up a little bit more, let's add a little more value to it. So we're gonna have an injection molded foam pad uh, here on the back. Going, going to the tank well, still you know, trying to give as much storage as possible. Black pack will fit in the back of this. Again, these bungees are removable and can strap into different locations depending on what you want to strap. Going to the hull, just because this boat is very affordable does not mean that it shouldn't perform well. The, the key feature to focus on this hull is the full length keel system. A lot of times with 10 foot boats, they lose their tracking ability. This kayak tracks and performs very well. Also, stability is a very important feature, especially when people, if this might be your first kayak, uh, the, the stability is a very important feature. So these sponsons are right at water level, acting as your second stability, but they aren't in the water, so you're not gonna get a lot of drag and slow down from those sponsons. So, you know, we, we are so excited about the value and quality that we've done in this refined boat, and, and we truly believe that if you are going to get into the kayak market, this is the perfect boat to start with.